Good morning. Welcome to Child First Fridays. I'm Rita Farrell, Director of Child First here at Zero Abuse Project. Today, we're going to talk about follow-up interviews. For years, we've been interviewing children in a single comprehensive manner. Today, we know that sometimes children need additional opportunities to tell us what they've experienced. With the follow-up interview, it's still purposeful and legally defensible. But something happens after your single traditional interview, whether it's a recantation, external evidence, the child asks to come back, something in the investigative process requires the team to have us talk and listen to the child again. These follow-up interviews allow us that opportunity. They're not another bite at the apple. They're non-duplicative. We don't ever want to leave the door open for the child to come back at the end of our single comprehensive traditional interview. But Mark, Dr. Mark Everson's newest article, Do Ethical Standards Apply to Forensic Interviewers, is an amazing article. It really works through different modalities of listening to children that are considered best practice. We need to afford every child all the opportunities to tell what they've experienced, but we need to always do it in a purposeful and legally defensible manner. Look for my upcoming article, Not Another Bite at the Apple, and our one-day training on how to do and how to conduct follow-up interviews with children. Thanks for joining us today for our Child First Fridays, and thank you for all you do for children. See you next month.